What's up everyone? I hope that you all are doing well. So in this video guys, we will join a Criterium race. I don't have any idea about this event. I was just informed yesterday that someone registered me. So no preparation, no training of course. But this will be a good opportunity for me to show you guys what a street racing is all about. Welcome back guys, so we arrive at the venue where the race will be held. So Criterium Racing by the way guys is a short course racing, usually done in circuits and one of the biggest advantages is you only need a little or short roads to be closed or like for this one it is done inside a subdivision. So we arrive early, enough time to refuel and do a quick route survey. So Spence will ride with me since he has already done multiple rides in the course. The big difference between a normal road race and crit racing is the cornering. So I'm not used to riding with corners, so this will be one of the challenges that I'm looking forward to. proper uh, cycling etiquette meaning stay on your line ang ng first road lang I think uh, this is a criterion race uh, road race so I would like to remind everyone na kung ka bike ka mo try to stay on your lane meaning hindi ka na magsailo sa ilo lane to avoid accident or collision sa kapwa new bikers um, fair play, wala lang sa sikuhay, wala lang yung patanay, okay? There's enough road for everybody, okay, uh, play, play fair, safe, okay. At any point, naging harangan ka ka Marshall, example na to, huwag ka sa lead, or if we feel na go in the safe ang ibo pang ride, Okay, any, at any point ha, during the race, please obey the rules, step out ka lang sa game and thank you na lang for joining for my next time pa man. Ang reason si ni is that kung makita sa Marshall na hindi mo na kaya itapuson or hazard ka na sa mga lead pack, mas better na mapapaway ka na lang. This is right, the normal rules for a criterium race para hindi na magpinungguan ay kaghapos mo monitor namun ang ang ara makarasaka sa podium or ang mga qualifiers Alright, so it's the start of the race guys and the first lap is always fast. So the last thing that you want to do is panic, okay? So as you can hear someone is shouting in the background that it's too early. So what I did here is I, I did that chase rather than wait for someone to ride in front so that I can get a draft. So my first step is to just relax and the pace will just settle a little bit later. Alright, so if you don't have teammates, find a uh, steady wheel and try to stay in the top 3rd or 4th of the peloton. So lucky for us today because we have a card here, so this will really be a big help. Alright, so there are 2 riders in the breakaway, 3 of us on the chase group and then the main peloton. So unfortunately guys, we don't have a rear cam, so I don't know how far the main group is. Okay, so the single defining aspect of a criterium race from a normal road race is there is a lot of turns, right? So this is the crucial part where the rider can do a fast and smooth turn and then accelerate to leave other riders behind. Or the other way around that the rider might drop from the rider in front during a turn. So in this case, this rider was not able to stay on Cockard's wheel. So I don't have any choice but to jump in front to keep up with Cockard.
Uh, during this time, Cockard is telling me to just relax and he will take the front until we reach the breakaways. So by the way guys, Cockard is a very good uh, dummy stick. I trust him when he says that he will take the front because he is able to maintain a decent pace for a very long time. So if he says so that I'll stay at the back, of course, I'll be more than happy to do that. Who doesn't want to go ride a relaxed pace, right? Alright, by the way guys, when you are turning, or you are leaning, or when you are moving the bike like one side or the other, always keep your outside foot down. So in other words, keep your inside foot up. Take a look at Kakard foot position here, so just imagine what will happen if he keeps on pedaling while turning on this curb. So he will surely hit the gutter and crash to, to pedal strike, right? So always be aware of that, especially if there are gutters on the road where the race is being held. So crashes on a criterium race are common, especially on corners. One of the golden rules in crit racing is to never cut corners. Alright, so at this point I was called down by Cockard because I tried to overtake through the inside. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, this is a no-no. Alright, always remember that aside from this being dangerous and unsafe, you will make enemies with other riders too if you do this. It's just okay for me here since we are the only riders on this corner, but just don't do this, okay? At this point guys, I don't know what happened, but Cockard asked me to take the front and it's seldom for him to ask this favor, especially when he already committed at the start, that he will deliver me to the guys in front. So it's totally fine, I was able to rest anyway, so I'll take a turn and I'm sure that this will not be long, and let's give him time to recover. See guys, just as expected, it did not take a minute for him to recover, but we will just take turns until we reach those guys in front, and then we'll try to relax and recover at their back. Alright, so at this point guys, I can feel that the breakaways are slowing down and I can see that we are getting closer. So I told Kakar to never take the front once we reach them because our main goal is to recover once we keep up with those guys. One of the general mechanics of Criterium Racing is if you've been dropped and locked, meaning uh, the lead pack has overtaken every last rider, then you have to pull out and stay out of the way for the rest of the race. So by this way of elimination process, it will be easier for organizers to look after the race, the riders, the lead pack, and for safety reasons as well. Alright guys, at last we're caught up and became part of the lead pack again. And during this point, 
the pace will be slow or let's say more relaxed because no one will initiate to carry the pace. And the last thing that we want to do is to do a counter attack since we just came from a chase. So we will stick to the plan to rest for a while and recover. Another rider joining again with us at this moment is Baute. He is a good friend of Kakar and he is also handling and helping some cycling teams here in the province. And I think that we already lapped him or overtaken so he should be out of the race. And yes, if you hear that on the background, the organizer call him out to drop off the race. I just reminded Cocker to just relax since we don't want to be the ones who will pull the other riders and we also try to assess the current situation and the condition of our strength. It will not be a good idea to do a breakaway because we know that uh, Toto here will be able to keep up with us, no doubt about it since he is an elite rider with a large experience as well. At this moment guys, we are on the 9th lap and for our category, it will be 18 laps total. So we're halfway, no need to rush still. Still on the relaxed pace uh, since I think we are too far from the main group. And since it's a uh, relaxed pace, these riders were able to chat and joke around also. So what they're talking about is to just do a corpo and we'll choreograph who will win and divide the prize money evenly. So they just started to realize that the convo is being recorded on cam. And they even talked about increasing the pace every time we reach the area where the organizers are so that it will not be that obvious that we are staging the outcome of the race. But of course guys, everything is just a joke. I know that these riders will really contest to the finish line.
<laughs> Alright, so what we were talking about here guys is the waist and hips of Pluto. So if you notice, his structure is like that of a woman. His waist is small and looks sexy from our point of view. Still on a relaxed pace guys and we did not notice that another rider was able to move up his weight once. At first I did not know who it was until Kakar told us that it's Rene, one of our teammates as well. And I was happy to see him that he is still in the race because he could be a big help. So Kakar on the other hand did rank this other riders telling them that Rene is a sprinter. So they get a little worried and try to increase the pace. been on a relaxed pace for a long time now and I told Kakart here to let me take the front real quick to somehow do a stretch and to prepare my muscles for later since I know that they will really do heavy work soon. And one more thing, our friend Kiron of Pitikalon is here taking pictures. Uh, he is very famous now because of his event shots and cyclists uh, really look forward to his upload from time to time to see their pictures. So anyways, this will be the best time so that I will have a picture as well where I'm the first rider in front. And by the way, uh, try to visit his page. I'll post the link below. Alright, so at this point guys, Rene is asking for someone to take his place in the front. Of course, no one will take it because it's the second to the last lap and everyone is saving their energy for the final sprint. So I told him to let go of the pace if he doesn't want to pull because someone will just take it if the pace is too slow for them. Alright, so that's the whistle for the final lap guys, and we tried to watch the race until the end. I made a very terrible mistake. So watch it yourself if you also notice that error. I'll try to explain what happened after, alright?
Alright, so I don't know what happened. Why did I get stuck just riding behind the Willow Brine? Maybe I'm too tired to think straight at that moment. The attack of Tuto and Jan really caught me off guard. It's not obvious in the video, but my reaction during that moment is really delayed. So we tried to chase as hard as we can. I bet you can hear me gasping for air and I did not even see the manhole cover that tilt our camera upward and I do apologize for the out of focus video at the end because of that and we don't have a good skill set for now in maneuvering on sharp turns so I was a little afraid on the last part that if I didn't hit the brakes I might bump on John so it's still better to be safe than sorry alright? Thank you for watching guys and I hope that you have some takeaways on this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to let this channel grow. Always remember to stay safe, stay fit, and see you on the road. Thank you.